Hey, what's up guys, it's mine. So today I'm gonna to show you how to reset a disabled iPad or an iPhone. Super simple to do, so let's get started. On this channel, I do a lot of unboxings and detailed tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any important tips or tricks. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you're gonna need the device. You're gonna need the charging cable. And if you have one of the new Macs, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need an adapter just like this one because the new MacBooks don't take a lightning port. They have a USB-C port. We're gonna plug our USB to our computer. Then we're actually gonna turn off our Apple device. All right, so we have our charging cable. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your device. You're gonna press and hold the home button and then plug this in. And what's gonna happen now is the iTunes logo is gonna appear with this. And it's gonna say support.com slash iTunes. And now we're gonna transition onto the Mac for the next steps. All right, so we're on our Mac and it's gonna say there's a problem with the iPad that requires to be updated or restored. And it says, goes into more details that the problem may be fixed by updating your iPad, which preserves your settings and contact. However, if the update doesn't work, it may be necessary to restore. So the option we're gonna choose and the steps we're gonna take is, is we're gonna go through a restore. When you restore your iPad or your iPhone, you're gonna lose all your content. But if you have a backup, you can easily restore your content on your freshly restored device. So we're gonna go restore. And it's gonna give you another warning that are you sure you wanna restore to its factory setting because all your media and your data will be wiped out. We're gonna go restore and update. And then it's gonna go into the software update package. Click next, agree. So what's happening now is the iTunes is actually downloading the software for this iPad and it will restore your iPad when the download is complete. So depending on your internet connection, it may be five minutes or it may be a little bit longer, depending on how fast your internet speed is. All right, so you can see that the update is pretty big for this particular iPad. It may be a little bit bigger if you have an iPhone, so it's about 2.42 gigabytes. It took me about two to three minutes to download. All right, so the iPad update is done. And then it says iTunes is restoring the software on your iPad, so let's take a look. So before the recovery begins, it's gonna verify the iPad, make sure it's not stolen, or your iPad Phone, and then it's going to go into the restoring the device so this will take a little bit of a time so just be patient throughout this process all right so while we wait just leave a comment down below letting me know what your what device you're restoring and how you found this video all right so once the reset is complete it's going to restart and we're you're going to notice that the ipad is back to its factory settings the same way you found it when you got it out of the box and once the reset has been complete and you look over to your itunes you're going to go through the same process you did when you first picked up your iPad. So it's going to say, welcome to your new iPad, continue. And then it's going to go into details about your, your serial number and other details. So a couple of important things when you are, if you have forgotten your password, just to protect your data, make sure you do an automatic backup by either your computer or your iCloud. All right, so let's go take a look at how our iPad's doing. It just finished updating and here we have it. Hello and you're gonna go through the same setup you did once you first picked up your iPad. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other tips or tricks. As always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Goodbye.